I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today I am super excited to announce the re-release of the Moog Mini Moog Model D. Definitely one of the most iconic synthesizers in history, and this is a very faithful recreation of that to include the discrete analog circuitry, uh, how the knobs are laid out, how the panels look. It has a new dark wood, mahogany, dark stain. I think it looks phenomenal. And then it's got some modern features that really make it a great modern synth, uh, especially for live performance. It has this new Fatar keyboard that feels really good, and that has both velocity and aftertouch, which can come out as voltages out of the back here. And each of those have their own amount, so it's very versatile. You've got MIDI in, out, and through. The new pitch wheel is spring-loaded. Everybody asked for that, and now they have it. So you don't have to remember to pull the pitch wheel back. It has an extra LFO so that you don't have to use oscillator 3 as an LFO. That means you can now have a three-oscillator synthesizer with vibrato that's independent of the three oscillators. And as I mentioned before, the velocity and aftertouch coming from the new keyboard can be sent to other inputs over here, the pitch, the filter, the volume, uh, the mod source. And then like the original, you can raise the back up, lock it into any of the positions. I'm not gonna do that today because I want the overhead camera to capture it so you can see a little bit better about what I'm doing. It's just phenomenal. I, I gotta say that nothing else sounds like a Model D. And you know, if you've ever been watching these things when they come out and you think, oh, should I get it, should I not? And then you missed your opportunity. Here's one more opportunity. And, and why would you want something like this? Well, primarily it's the sound. I mean, the way this thing sounds is not only iconic in that it will help you do all the music from that era, but it truly just has a sound that cuts through everything. And that was always the thing that made people very excited about using a Mini Moog Live is that it can get through a rock band and do a solo over the top. It's very, very powerful. It still does some of the famous features where you could take the output and put it back into the external input. You've got an overload light, so you can choose to overload it or not. You're certainly welcome to do that. It's a very cool sound. And if you want it, knob per knob explanation of everything on here. I'm gonna put a link below to the 2016 release of the Mini Moog Model D and watch that and I really do go over everything. Today, I mostly just wanna play it for you. I have the Nemesis delay here and we'll be using that only some of the time, mostly when I'm doing filter sweeps and maybe some of the live performances at the end because I really want you to hear this thing all by itself.
is no question about why this is one of the most iconic synthesizers in history. If you have any further question about the Moog Mini Moog Model D, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you for watching and listening. Thanks again for watching. Click here for more videos like this or go to Sweetwater.com for all your musical instrument and pro audio needs.